بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دا اسٹور از دا اسٹوری ریٹن بائی جان میگرین ہو از این آئرش رائٹر دا اسٹوری از پبلشڈ ان 1978 اینڈ دا ٹائم پیریڈ واز لیٹ 20th سینچری دا اسٹوری از ریٹن بائی تھرڈ پرسن ان نیمڈ نریٹر بیفور موونگ ٹوورڈز دا انالیسس فرسٹلی وی ول ریڈ اباؤٹ دا آتھر Migrain was born in Dublin, Ireland in 1934 and he was the first of seven children in his family. He lost his mother when he was nine, only nine years old. So he had a, a miserable, quite a miserable childhood. He did not have a significant, a good positive relationship with his father. And uh, his father tried to pull him out of his school for the sake of trade, but he resisted that. And uh, his youth was marked by hardships. He discovered love of literature as a boy from his neighbor, neighbor's well-stocked library. And uh, McGrain is particularly known uh, for his portrayal of Irishmen and women who are constrained by the conventions of their society. And um, in most of his writings, you would see the autobiographical implications uh, there. His own life has a big influence upon his writings. because uh, if you would go through some of his writings you would see that uh, in most of his writings he depicted the young boy as protagonist of his work who uh, suffer through relationships and who are struggling in their life in order to find meanings so in the, the similar is the case in the present story the stoat where we see the young boy as the protagonist of the story so the young boy who is a medical student and who did not have a very good relationship with his father uh, that actually uh, is a reflection of his own life and thus we see that his own life has an influence upon uh, this particular short story, story too uh, important kya hai ji story mein ke the protagonist جس کو ہم اسٹوری میں دیکھتے ہیں کہ ہی از بین ریفر ٹو اینڈ ہی از بین کالڈ ایز اے بوائے اینڈ اور اے سن ہی از بینگ ان نیمڈ ہی از ناٹ بینگ گیون اینی نیم ان دس وے وی سی دیٹ ہی ڈپکٹس یونیورسل کریکٹرسٹکس اور دیٹ مے بی دیٹ ہی ڈز ناٹ ہیو اینی ادر آئیڈینٹی دین بینگ اے بوائے اور بینگ اے سن and uh, he is also being when we will go through the story we would see that he is being uh, portrayed or he signifies the rabbit the rabbit who is wanted both by the father and the uncle and thus by the stoat so when we would go through the some other characteristics of the father and the uncle we would see that how the boy is being portrayed as a rabbit and how the father and the uncle actually represents the stoat that's important because uh, the figure of a boy or a son the father and the uncle these three are the main characters of this uh, story and they form a triangle and in this triangle the father and the uncle they both represent stoat and they both try to pull the boy or the son towards themselves and in this effort to move to have to pull the boy away from the other this we would see later too the next is the main character uh, is the father who is the main character and the father in this story is being portrayed as a selfish sneaky old man who's uh, who lives alone who was a former teacher who's living a retired life and uh, being alone he seeks companionship and he wanted to marry and uh, he's being shown also being shown uh, as a stubborn in his own ideas and wishes and uh, what else we see that there is a stiff restrained kind of a relationship between father and son and the other thing is that the father tries to mend this tries to fix this relationship many times and he many times he tries to seek his son's approval uh, on his way to marriage so this shows that he tries to build a relationship with his son and he wanted to have a good positive uh, healthy relationship with his son uh, but uh, despite all his efforts he fails to mend his relationship uh, 
uh, though he re uh, and father fails to reconcile with the son as the stoat fails to seize the rabbit symbolically uh, the father's failure to mend his relationship with his son with his son that uh, symbolically reflects stoat's failure to seize the rabbit magrain compares father's selfishness and his motives to stoat's predatory instincts and animalistic behavior throughout the story we see that stoat works as a very stoat and rabbit they both work as very very important symbols and they symbolize men's behaviors and uh, particularly the behavior of father in many ways that reflects the stoat's predatory instincts and animalistic behavior um, and both the stoat and the father they were unable to get the prey at the end in the first case in the stoat's case it was the rabbit and in the father's case it was the uh, woman as well as it was the son and uh, this we see in the last paragraph a uh, very important thing that we see over there that the repetition the last paragraph has been repeated and that suggests that they both what does that mean both the father and the stoat they both would continue their hunt for the father he would continue his hunt for women and for the stoat he would continue his hunt for sorry it was rabbit not stoat he was he would continue his hunt for its hunt for the rabbit and uh, the like the stoat chase the rabbit the son is constantly chased by the father and the uncle and uh, they there are the lines the father is also has the narcissistic attitude which is being reflected by the lines where he says that, that the country is on fire with curiosity like he is a very very much important of figure and the news of his marriage is actually a, a kind of a thing that everybody is after and everybody is taking interest in and uh, further uh, his father's attitude towards women that is being reflected th through these lines where he says that you would need to get a government grant to do them up before you could think of taking some of them on so this also reflects his attitude towards women which shows that he was kind of a person who was not very much uh, polite quite rude rigid in his opinions and uh, did not have a, a positive attitudes towards women next have a look at the character of uncle the uncle is also being portrayed as a selfish and sneaky fellow like the stoat and like the father as uh, indicated but this is clearly indicated in the text the uh, the thing the long gray hair uh, so the uncle's hair are being compared with the long gray body of the stoat so clearly the narrator has made a kind of a comparison of the uncle and the rabbit by using the similar or the same kind of lines for both so the comparison and the similarity is very very much obvious and it was made obvious by the narrator the uh, uncle is a surgeon by profession and uh, interestingly the son also opts the medical profession to become a doctor like his uncle and in this way he goes against his father's wishes who wanted him to be a banker so this also indicates son's affinity with the uncle and his dissociation with his father his liking for his uncle and his dislike for his father uncle is uh, portrayed being portrayed as big wig by the narrator and being portrayed as boastful and an arrogant person and uh, this is uh, also obvious uh, through the conversations that there is a great rivalry between father and the uncle and uh, that competition between them is over gaining the favor of the son so and at one time the uncle has also said that you know if your father does succeed in getting himself fished you'll be able to spend much more time here i'd like that so he's saying it to the son that if he would be able to get married in this way the uncle would be able to spend more time with the son so he wanted to get an a favorable approval and a more and more company of the son and of the boy so there was kind of uh, this rivalry going on between father and uncle and the main reason uh, which i understood was the son and there would be many more too so we see the stoat and the rabbit as the key symbols of the story the very important symbols 
the key symbol of the stoat and the rabbit is explored through the behavior of the characters and their actions and this also shows the ruthlessness of life and um, this at a bigger scale at a bigger level we see that they also represents uh, human beings and the struggle uh, and the chase that is going on and on and how humans also have animalistic traits lurking inside uh, the introduction and the conclusion is also a hunt between the stoat and the rabbit and uh, it hints at the continuous chase of the hunter and the hunted in real life that in in real life there are some who are stoats and there are some who are rabbits and who are continuously chasing each other and they also symbolize the idea of death the death chasing life and that chase is continuous and that will never be over so thus uh, the stoat and the rabbit they both are very important symbols in the story and they symbolize uh, great uh, things and they represents an allegory of life at a bigger scale the themes uh, that we could find in this uh, story could be selfishness dishonesty loneliness search for meaning uh, death relationship family companionships etc relationship uh, is a very very much important theme in this story and we see uh, firstly what we notice is the relationship between father and uh, son which is a distant relationship and that could also be suggested by the language and by the abrupt short abrupt conversation between them and uh, uh, uncle uh, is successful in occupying the boy and also in keeping the boy distant from his father so he has actually developed a good relationship with the son and in this he was uh, by building this good relationship he was successful in keeping him away from his father and a very important thing is that uh, all the characters in this story they are named after their relationships like nobody is being named uh, except miss makeb everybody is named after their relationships either he is a son or he is a father or he is the uncle so they have only the uh, identity associated in terms of the relationships and it's only miss makeb who has an identity other than that of some relationship and she is being named let's we will have a look at the quotes in from the story and which are also which would provide some interesting details and uh, here i would i had quoted and taken line 5 to 8 and uh, what this uh, what do these lines refer to they refer to a selfish hunt and predatory instincts and provide a graphic description of a stoat chasing an injured rabbit and a brutish kind of a chase uh the and here we see the reference to the long gray body of the stoat and later we see the reference to the long gray hair of the uncle which act, make a very interesting comparison between both the stoat and the uncle uh, in the next lines 12 to 14 these lines contain animalistic description of the dying rabbit and uh, thus the writer applied to the human world and uh, here we see that uh, the rigidity of terror as the heart hammered away its blood through the cut in the jugular vein so then he killed it the boy killed it with one stroke because he could not see the injured rabbit therefore he killed it with one stroke next line number 21 he twice claims that stood behind him following the rabbit still though it was dead that is a very important line and this important line refer to the consistent the continuous nature of a stoat chasing a rabbit no matter it is dead so this actually refer to the bigger idea that this chase is never over that is continuous that keeps on and on and on next maybe uh, here the line refer to the sneaky attitude of the father where he asks the boy to you better not tell her how you come came by it so this shows that uh, he is also as sneaky as a stoat next lines uh, refer to and uh, they throw more light upon father son relationship and uh, uh, here we see uh, these lines they hint at son's cold behavior towards his father and uh, the way he reflects upon the past that also actually give us a hint 
uh, on uh, upon the father son distant relationship and he was actually thinking about his past when his father used to sit in a study and he used to make some uh, decisions and how these decisions affects him and also affects his family so he did not have uh, a good relationship with his father and behind that there is a might be or there is a whole story of his uh, father behaving in some kind of a manner which was uh, not good and uh, this also suggests that he did not have a uh, good or pleasing uh, kind of a childhood rather the son also had a bitter childhood which had affected his feelings towards his father and therefore the father is not able to mend Uh, his relationship with the son because of uh, all that past thing and son's dislike for his father is also obvious through these lines these lines are important whenever you write about the relationship of father and son uh, here the son is saying i feel guilty about it but the truth is that my father bores me i fear and hate the unconscious though he doesn't want to be affected by this but he has no control in that he says that this is the fact that his father bores him and he does not enjoy his company he doesn't want to be with his father but he has no control on that so these lines the further we also have a look at some more lines and the, the lines below hint at father's attempts to win his approval and also that he wants to build his relationship with his son Uh, this also shows that the father is making continuous efforts to mend his relationship but uh, he was not uh, successful in that and uh, we see that he says i'm glad you approve i wouldn't have gone ahead if you had uh, any objections so he's uh, actually wants to move ahead by gaining the approval of his son the theme of family and companionship here uh, that shows these lines show that how his father uh, needs company at this age and uh, he says that um, uh, at my age you don't expect much from marriage but at least i would have companionship uh, next lines uh, suggests the uh 120 and 124 they throw some light upon the character of father versus the character of uncle because of these interviews the son was able to spend all that easter with his uncle a surgeon in a county town who had encouraged him against his father in his choice of medicine the father wishing to see him in the bank here we clearly see that the, it was the uncle behind all that who had made him to go against his father's wishes and uh, here the uh, son is asking the uncle you don't like my father much and he says he is a decent enough fellow but i find him dull probably not nearly as dull as he finds me so this shows that uh, there is a uh, the relationship uh, between father and uh, uncle that relationship is also having an impact upon the father and son relationship too and uh, yeah, these lines uh, if you go through these lines you may see that uh, uncle has a kind of a ridiculing attitude towards his father and is making fun of this idea that he was um, want he wanted to get married again so if you go through these lines you may see that how is making fun of all this idea moving forward Miss McCabe is also a very important character uh, in the story, and uh, some th- some characteristics of hers that we could gather from the text are that uh, she was a school teacher in her forties. She is no beauty, but a shining light compared with the Rex and Battle X has been interviewing. So among the others, she was the better choice. The son was not interested in their marriage; uh, rather, he wants to get over with this episode. Therefore, he wanted to be done with this. so as as it is being obvious in through these lines where he is saying that he liked her but he would have uh, encouraged his father to marry her whether he did or not as he was anxious for the whole play to be over so uh, he was saying that he is not actually interested in getting his father married but he was actually interested in uh, getting done with this whole thing and to be back to his uncle this we would see at the end of the story Uh, the idea of death uh, that has been um, uh, this idea uh, we could see in the beginning and uh, throughout the story and at the end too and 
we could notice these nines where the stoat and the uh, uh, rabbit episode had happened there when he had a look again the boy had a look at that place again and he noticed but the blood had dried from the sand and the place was uncannily still then uh, the selfish upon selfishness uh, we have some we have uh, i have found some lines and these uh, lines hint at father's selfish attitude it was uh, when the when he got back uh, when uh, when the woman uh, miss mckeeb she had a mild heart attack and he was back from there uh, these are the other lines uttered by the father and he says that she just had a mild heart attack in the hot baths but she still thinks we will get engaged at the end of the month then he says who wants to marry a woman who can pop off at any minute and then he says isn't it enough to have buried one woman so these are the lines uh, that when she had a mild heart attack it's only after that that the father had changed his mind and uh, he actually didn't want to marry a woman who had the possibility of getting ill again because he don't want uh, any person in his life who would be having any possibility to be uh, to die so soon therefore he therefore he moved back from his idea of marrying that woman and uh, therefore he wanted to pack up from that place and to move away from there without informing the woman about the change of his mind and uh, this shows that how much selfish and dishonest he was that not only he had uh, decided not to marry a uh, an an ill woman but he also is not willing to inform her about his idea but he is just going to leave the space without informing the woman and uh, such a sneaky attitude escapism dishonesty and selfishness is shown through these lines and Mary Sun is asking him what are you going to do clear out he said to the sun's dismay you can't do that it's the only way to do it i'll write to her what if she doesn't take it there's nothing i can do about that so how much cold and uh, selfish attitude the father has shown through these lines and uh, this also throws much light uh, upon the father's character who is only on, on, only concerned with his own happiness and layer and not with somebody else so here the father is uh, at that instance the father is compared with the stoat and it was the stoat the father had glimpsed in the miss mckeeb's hotel room and he was running so the narrator interestingly had quoted these lines and uh, these lines actually reflect uh, the narrator's desire to see the father and the stoat the both the, both having the similarities uh, next the uh, boy's selfishness is also been shown all the characters are being selfish in one way or another he was not staying by the sea although he was saying his, uh, to his father that he would stay there but he was not staying by the sea either and he says that tomorrow uh, and uh, he had the this idea in his mind that he would leave for his uncles and they were all running they were all running from one another and they were all escaping from the reality so the, the this is the last paragraph and this last paragraph is very very much significant and what does this um, show this show that death is chasing life consistently and there is no escape from dying in this world some would be stores and some rabbits and the chase is not over so we may see when we have a look at this we see that all night the rabbit must have raced from warren to warren the stoat on its trail Uh, the plumper plumper rabbit said cross the stores path but it would not be deflected it had marked down this one rabbit to kill no matter how fast the rabbit raced the stoat was still on its trail so it's interesting he had heard it crying as the stoat was drinking its blood the theme of death is also a very much important theme and which is obvious through these lines through in the beginning with the graphic description of uh, whole this chase and the rabbit not being successful and in the last paragraph with the with the stoat not being successful and in the last paragraph where the stoat is successful so sometimes uh, he would be able to and uh, the death would be able to get hand at the prey and sometimes death won't be able to but later that would have had happened too so that's the story which is very much interesting with the three main characters and with the two, two important symbols of the stoat and the rabbit and thus the uh, <coughs> chase of death
the death chasing the life and the chase is not over so that's important students you need to just take the quotes from the story and you need to support whatever point you would have uh, occurred with you are going to support your point of view with the quotes from the text thank you for today